Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where I try a new game every episode. Today, we're trying Tamarin. This one piqued my interest because it looks like one of those classic 3D platformers that I grew up loving, so I definitely wanted to try this one out. It almost had like a, a, the same feel I feel like you'd get from like some of the old Rare games on the Nintendo 64. So that being said, let's get started with Tamarin. Hmm. Looks like a beautiful day. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much going on wrong here. Oh, look at all the little monkeys. I think, or maybe they're like red pandas, or maybe they're supposed to be something more mythological. I'm not sure, but they're so fuzzy. Oh man, we got the, the evil bugs with the blasters. What are they up to? They're like some kind of factory area. It's all polluted. Oh no. Hey, that's mean. Leave the little birds alone. Oh no, their house! That's awful, all the family's running away. Why would they do that? They're so mean. Aw. So maybe the monkey's name is Tamarin. Poor little Tamarin. We're all on our own. So we can move and look around. I can roll even, whoa. So I guess it's up to us to save everybody from the evil bugs. What a sad start. Very heartbreaking. Oh, what's up here? So I think this is the kind of game that's gonna have lots of cool hidden stuff. What are these? Are these teeth? They look like red teeth. I don't know. Uh, maybe they're like little masks? Maybe? So yeah, I guess they'll be collectibles. That's actually really cool though. Um, oh, I guess we'll have to find birds that we can bring back to the bird's nest. And that's what I was hoping for is that this game would be like a like a uh, 3D collectathon. Oh, what's this? You collected a memoir. I don't know what that does. Maybe like at the end of the level, we'll figure something out. Huh. Oh. Oh, what's that? A little firefly. And here's another one of the birdhouses. Weird. Definitely want to figure out here. Hello? Whoa, hey! Press and hold L2 to lock on. Press X to catch. Gotcha! Ta-da! Oh, I wonder if these are like stars from Mario 64 or whatever, or just like, you know, collectible 3D platformer type of main collectible. So there's a lot to explore, just check it out. And that's what I love about these kind of games. This is sort of what I grew up with. You know, back in the PlayStation 2, I played a lot of Jack and Daxter. That was, that's still my favorite game. It's just my like go-to childhood game, I guess. Uh, and once again, we have these. Is there something ah, I can do about them? I don't think so. Anyways, uh, still more to explore. Not too much going on up here though. I don't know if this is like a fully open world game because I can go into this cave and this is like a totally different area. But I'm guessing I don't want to go in there, do I? I don't know, oh, oh, oh. Definitely not gonna be able to make it across. We'll leave that for now. So maybe it is like open world. That's cool. What about the water here? Now I see this one I can swim in much more comfortably without losing stamina on the top left there. See, let's see what this little bug that the game was pointing out to me is. Because obviously we collected one of them Oh, you get back here. The game is very pretty though. Honestly, it gives me, you know, like dreams feels, you know, Media, Mo Media Molecules dreams. It sort of has like that same art style too. I really like it. I almost got you, but what's up here? Is this springy? Springboard not yet activated. So I guess we'll have to come back. Here's another memoir. Cool. Where did you go? Here you are. Gotcha. So there we go, we got our second little golden bug. Nice. What are we doing now? Oh, what is this? Activate, oh, so we need one golden bug to get through here. Whoa, that little guy packs a lot of power. Open sesame. All right, well. I don't know what's gonna be in there, but it looks fancy. It looks very snowy. 
huh. Whoa, this is pretty. So this area has not been ravaged by the bugs. What's in the little pile of leaves? Let's go find out. Oh, ah, oh, it's the hedgehog. Hey, buddy. Don't be startled. I survived because I hid down here, utterly frightened and, and all spiked up. I'm on your side. Are you okay? So sad, your family taken away, with the forest burnt down and your house demolished. It can't get any bleaker, can it? Indeed, the forests have become full of armed, brutal insects. They're building factories, expanding and polluting. So bad, I'll just pop back down here until the world ends, if that's all right with you. Ah, uh, sorry, we're in this together, distressed furry friend. Let me give you a warm hedge hug. Everything will be all right. Well, we can't run into heavily guarded forests like sobbing little monkeys, can we? Take this. Whoa. All right, we got a little weapon here. Aim with R and hold R2 to shoot. After a few shots, the rate of fire will decrease. Hold L2 to lock to, to objects or enemies above you. Do you see that switch over there? Try locking onto it, then shoot it down to activate the door. Whoa. I was not expecting this. I thought it was gonna be like just platforming. Okay. Well, we can work with this. Guess we're just trying to get up here, but is there any secrets down this way? Nope. All right. The game really is pretty though. Hmm. So let's just take a shot at this little emerald then. Gotcha. Not bad. Is there like, oh, that's so weird. I thought it was gonna be something like geological, but there's like a computer chip under it. I like the weird combination of like styles going on here. I don't know how to explain it, but whoa. Here they are again. Frenna Forest. Liberate this once peaceful land from the army of invading insects. Sap crystals are loaded with energy. They will help you survive. Beware of drones in occupied territory. Infesting the forest in roaming groups. Watch out for enemies above you. Take them out using rock targeting. Do not run low on ammunition. Use checkpoints to save your progress. On your travels through the forests and mountains, you will find birds and arrows. Take them with you to safety. I will for sure. Ow, hey, I was still listening to the narrator that just suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't know why there's just now a narrator that was not before, so that's a little weird. But yeah, I guess this isn't just a platforming game, it's also sort of like a little shooter. That's so weird. I officially don't know what to expect anymore, but did this guy drop something? Oh, extra ammo, nice. Uh, there's one of the birds, so I can just touch you and it'll be a collecting, or be collecting you. All right, so I do see you way down that way. A little bit hard to aim at you from this distance. I don't think that really works. Oh boy, here come the other ones. The blue ones don't seem to be as tough. Gotcha. And they're hiding around there. They're pretty tactical, we gotta be careful. Oh my, ew. It just exploded. A bunch of green goop. Now you up there, buddy. The controls are a little weird to get used to. They sort of fight you when you're trying to look up like that. But there we go, license to kill. Oh my goodness. This is this has become very serious for a little timer in here. How do I get over there? And I can't really use my roll ability anymore. What's up with that? Hmm. Maybe I'll wrap back around. Is there any way to like put the weapon away? Uh not that I see. Weird. By the way, this will refill our health if we needed it. Luckily we're fine. Can I get him from there? It just doesn't seem to reach. Oh, I saw one over this way. Move it, move it, move it. Oh, there's a ton of them around now. They're infesting the whole area. Gotcha. Come on, keep at it. There we go. I'll get the bird. No, the bird! No, I'm sorry! Is there no way I can get him now? That's sort of a shame. I was trying to fight the guy in front of him. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, I, I did something. Here we go, I got you. That's good. I must have hit something to activate something. Oh, I don't really know. I am running out of ammo though, I do have to be careful. 
There are still more ants around here, though. I think. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a purple one right up here. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Not anymore around here, doesn't look like. I did see some more ammo. We're, we're definitely gonna need that. And what about this door? Once again, I would typically just roll through this, but I don't know how to put the weapon on. Huh. Maybe we can just come back. Not gonna worry about it too much. Will that little bird come back? I feel so bad that the bird got taken out. There's some extra ammo, and we have two doors to go down. Let's try this one. So that's a checkpoint, for sure. And if we don't find any everything, it's it's not too big of a deal, because of course, you can't expect to find everything. <laughs> Especially on our first go around. We're just trying to have fun. These boxes don't seem to have much, though. But it is good to know that, you know, I could use this as cover as well. They definitely do. But it could get worn out, so you gotta be careful about that. Yeah, it sort of gives me Ratchet and Clank vibes at times. You know how it works as a, sort of a platforming and a shooting kind of game. What is this? Regular ammo. Was, well, what was everything else I was picking up? Was that not regular ammo? Watch it, is that gonna explode? Or maybe I can shoot it away. There we go, nice. All right, keep it moving, keep it moving. Come on now. Ooh. I, I don't know why that shot wasn't really working too much. The aiming, once again, is definitely something to get used to. Were there like flies on him? Ew. So there's normal sized flies, but he's giant for some reason. There's some weird stuff going on in this world. Oh my, maybe I could explode the mine and it would hurt him. What is what is he doing? Ow, that hurt. That did a lot of damage, actually. Gotta be careful of that now. Come on, there we go. So this is such a weird game. I was not expecting any of this. Oh, well, it'll keep you guessing what is going on with these things. These little guys are a little scary. Are they gonna try to get me here? They might, I gotta be careful. Oh my, just one left, just one left. Oh, the aiming is so weird. Almost makes me a little motion sick. Okay, getting back over this way. That's just regular ammo. Oh, it upgraded my ammo. No, nah, I fell. Where are we? Okay, I'm back here, I think. Actually, I have no clue where we are. It all just sort of looks like caves. Pick up that ammo. I mean, definitely I was down here. There's three ways, which way did I come in from? Good question. Yeah, I guess it was this way. Hmm. But yeah, what a loop I've been thrown for with this game. I was, I was expecting like a happy little just, you know, platforming around, la da 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 da, but it's just like action, weapons, our, our family being lost and our house being destroyed. What's gonna happen next? I don't know. Either way, we should be good just to move forward with this. Cause yeah, I'm sort of getting a good idea where we were because we were just out there fighting the ants before. But where will this way lead? There's so many branching paths. Okay, is this one a dead end? It's not. Hmm, I'm just gonna keep going this way for now. <laughs> just in case, oh my. Got it. A few more. I feel like this game would work really well with gyroscopic aiming, like Splatoon has. But at the least, it, it hasn't given me the option to do that yet. Either way, let's hit that. And it opens the door up. So where in the world are we now? Good question. I don't know what these red things do, but I'll keep grabbing them. Hopefully we'll have plenty for whatever we need. Oh, it's the little birds. Okay, okay, so I gotta go back to save them, right? Yeah, I see. Well, I'm gonna leave that for later. I, like I said, I don't wanna worry about collecting every single thing in this first video. If we do more, then we can definitely backtrack, but right now I just wanna sort of enjoy the game and see as much as I can. 
Definitely get this checkpoint and some extra health. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. So I could have just gone this way the whole time and just skipped all of that stuff. Wow, that's fascinating. Very open-ended level design, it seems. I can't quite get through this purple bug. But what is this? Only opens using rapid fire. I don't have rapid fire, I don't think. But what about this one? It doesn't say anything about this one at all. Because I just came in from over here, but is there any way just to jump up? I suppose it's not. All right then, so back over here. Uh, still trying to find a way if the, like how to put the weapon away. Cause you would think there would be something cause I was able to roll and stuff before. I can't do that anymore. But maybe there are certain like platforming sections. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got more of these guys. All right, let's go for it. They remind me of like little Galaga spaceships, just the way they form, they go into a little form like that, and they're different colors. Okay, last one, right there. Got it. Oh, now open up the door. Oh, let's go through. Oh my, whoa, we got one of the big ones at her. I was not ready for that, just instantly attacking me with that explosive shot. Can you please not do that? Oh, I'm almost out of ammo. I have a feeling he has a lot of health, so we really gotta try. Ow! Stop that. Jeez, dude. Okay, but did we get him? No, we didn't. Ah! No, little monkey! I'm sorry. I think I hit the button behind him. Well, that was weird. Ah, oh, but I didn't save that. So I gotta go and do that again. Oh, I finally got him. That took a lot of work. I can't pick up his weapon, though. That's sort of a shame. I would've really liked that. Uh, but there we go. We can open up that door now. We can actually properly go through. That was a bit of a challenge. We got Beetlejuice as a trophy. That's cool. All right, running back through. What else do we got going on around here? Not too much more. So I'm just going to move forward right over here. Oh, we got plenty more of these red things. I hope we can spend these soon. Maybe they just give us extra lives. I don't think there's lives out. Hmm. Wait, okay, wait, oh, that's this guy again. Hey, buddy. Who would have thought? Little Emperor Tam Tamarin. Your meekness is no weakness. You just never give up. But it's a dangerous forest. That's what it is. And I sure would like to, to beef you up. Would it be possible to ask for a favor this time? I collect things, little red things. Just a few insect tokens, if that's all right with you. A machine gun? What do you, what do you say? Sure, buddy. All right. This gun holds rapid, but inaccurate firepower. Switch weapons with square. Hold down R2 to shoot. Well, let's do this. Let's save your family. Okay, cool. So now we have a machine gun. I like how they haven't gotten all too creative with the names. They're just, you know, pretty generic. Usually these kind of games like make up their own fancy names for those kind of things. So have I gone in there? I don't think I have. Well, I don't know if I can. Is the door closed? No, oh yeah, no, I remember. I'm just being silly. Okay, so with the rapid fire, we should be able to open this door up now. Oh boy. Is that working? Yeah, I see the little green triangles around it filling up. Nice. It's definitely inaccurate, but. What a view. Oh, wow, is it snowy over there? I think so. Cool. Can't wait to see the different environments we end up exploring. Ow! Watch it, buddy. Let's definitely try to put this. Uh, Rapid fire weapon to the test. Not too bad. And what's up here? More ammo? Looks like it. Got some more. Oh, it even upgraded it to 250. Nice. Oh boy, here we go again. I might want to switch over to the other weapon for this one now. Actually, that's a lot of them. Maybe not. Uh, uh, there we go, there we go, come on. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm almost out of ammo for this one too. I gotta be careful. That's sort of something, I, I don't know what happens. If we run out of ammo, are we just done? Conserving my ammo seems to be something I should most certainly prioritize. 
There we go. Whoa, okay, immediately getting thrown out. Hey, stop! Stop, stop, stop! They move so fast. How could I have possibly stopped that from happening? That was just like instantly he attacked those birds. Anyways, I'm glad that we could have saved one of them. Even though that's it, you know, it, it makes a difference, right? It's definitely fill up on health if we get the chance. Hey now, hey now, watch it. Get rid of this guy. And then switch over here, where's the other one? You leave those birds alone, they didn't do anything to you. Okay, so it looks like, I saved a bunch of them there. Maybe there's supposed to be a lot of them, like maybe there's not supposed to be like a finite amount, if that makes sense. I don't know what's with this. Can't seem to pick it up. Not too much in there. All right, let's go this way. Ooh, there we go. Hmm, oh, hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow, this area is actually really pretty. There's like a lot of detail to that. Yeah, I really like the environments here. It's like so lush. I really like areas like that. That's that's why I really like, you know, like from Sonic and Mario, the first world is always so green and happy. That's always my favorite world in every game, just to be able to enjoy that happiness. I don't know, that's just always been my favorite part. Oh, here we go, let's get rid of you. And you too. They have a lot of ants, a whole colony of them, what do you know? I wonder if that factory that we're at was called like the farm, because you know, like there's ant farms. Picked up some more ammo there, that's good. Nice, so that's all the enemies taken out. Nothing happening in here. All right, <laughs> it's a little weird. There's some more ammo, I don't even know if I needed that. I didn't need to shoot that one. So what's in here? Freyna 4 is completed. And obviously we could have gone, so yeah, there actually is a specific amount of birds you can save. I don't see how I could have possibly saved that one. Anyways, that was fascinating. Where are we now? And I wonder if, the, is there a quick travel at some point? Who knows, who knows? Um, oh, is this activated now? No. Where do I go? Good question. Uh, maybe back the way I came? I wouldn't think so, but I can get up here. Ah, oh hey! He made it past the nasty ant army. Up ahead is Freyna Mountain, a peaceful mountain. You'll need to climb this cave to get there. Wouldn't it be easier if you didn't have all these heavy weapons weighing you down? Not a frog in sight, but a leaping tamarind? That would be a lovely sight. Oh, please, let me see. Shall I take care of your weapons so you can climb this cave? Yes. Marvelous. You can get them back from me when we get to, the, to any dangerous places. Would you like me to tell you how to climb the mountain? Sure. See this cliff edge? To get there, stand near the opposite cliff edge and hold down L2 and then press X. When you get to Freyna Mountain, climb the mountain and meet me at the top. Oh, wait for you there. So I guess in this game, wow, that's interesting. That's different for sure. Whoa, that's cool. This game has like specific platforming sections and specific weapon sections, which uh, is a little weird. That's definitely not something I'm used to, like I said, like with, with Ratchet and Clank or a game like that, that does have both. Usually they incorporate the two, but hey, different doesn't always mean bad. There we go. I love that little leaping, that's cool. So we didn't get a spring this time, but at some point we can maybe make that easier by using a spring. Is those little cherries there? Some sort of berry for sure. Frame a mountain. This place looks cool. So this area is gonna be peaceful and we know that because there's no weapons. I hope. <laughs> Either way, we collected another memoir there. And yeah, I guess maybe, oh, maybe every area has like its own collectible. So now that we've collected some birds, we can send them into birdhouses. They're so cute. And that gets us, what do you know, another one of these. Wait, there we go. So I'm pretty sure this is like the core collectible that we'll need in the game to like move forward with certain things. Good to keep in mind. Go. 
Yeah, more berries over this way. Oh my. No, there are still enemies. Oh, there are certainly still enemies. Do I just jump on them? Do I just out avoid them? You're gonna roll into them. Oh, that worked. All right, that wasn't too bad. I got it now. Two hands too many. All right. Hmm. There are still dangers to worry about. So yeah, it's sort of like two games at once. Very interesting. Oh, I like this little bridge, that's cute. Can I walk across here without falling off that? I guess so. Did I collect another enough birds for this? I guess so. So he'll be another one. I hope they like the new home. And we got another one. So yeah, this has been very fascinating. Let me know your thoughts on Tamarin. Uh, what is this sign? Hold on. Don't break into the house. Okay, now I got it. Like, what's, what's in the house? I see a little bug, but I don't see a way in. Weird, I might need to get some other kind of ability. But yeah, very pretty game, very odd game. Not in a bad way, just in a, in a way, way I don't think I'm gonna forget this game anytime soon. Let me know, oh, here we go, here we go, hold on. Let me know your thoughts on it. Would you like to see a full series of this? Uh, Monkey Burglar, and we get ourselves another one of these. But yeah, for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.